everybody. Uh, it's Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, Nerf video for starters and second off. Um, I want to make a quick response before we get to what you're about to see. It's basically me versus a coop debate kind of thing. I don't know why. Dude's weird. I'll get to it when... Sorry about that battery. So, um, yeah, let's get the updates on the um, previous video. The uh, Me... And my thoughts on the whole angry video giving nerd thing. Um, I'm happy that there was comments. Thank you very much. And um, for the first time ever, I think there is a bit of a divide in the comment section. Uh, it, it's at the time of this recording, there's two guys uh, carved to the to the video later on after this um, or during this uh, little experiment. Um, basically, Coop uh, seven seven two two. Ugh, sorry, wording. It's not my best friend today. Um, long story short, he had a video I just watched of him testing out some sort of stupid thing about Nerf darts hitting glass. He wanted to debunk the theory with his iPhone. Surprise, surprise! He did on the fifth shot it with like a Duminator. It pretty much um, got his iPhone cracked. Like it toppled over. It the dart's not gonna basically. He proved the he proved his point that it's not gonna break the glass, but. It will topple your iPhone, so... Again, I'm not really just gonna up the ante, I'm just proving some weird point to, that any Nerf Blaster... Also, we're talking Megas here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm still in the thinking process after seeing this video. I think the closest to a React version you're ever gonna get. Um, yeah, um, Megas might technically topple it over. I'm just going by the iPhone logic, I'm not going by... My actual uh, window logic, I'm almost pretty certain on both types of darts is not going to break the glass, not even close. Uh, unless Mythbusters comes out of retirement to make a whole online episode dedicated to this uh, insanely stupid myth. Um, yeah, I do like Mythbusters, they are badasses. Happy that they finished their show, but eh, there's still some science out there. Still some science out there. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna rig my um iPhone to my desk and this uh, strong arm basically beat over the head on a point to whoever the hell it was that Coop was talking about in the video. So yeah, be right back in a bit. Let's do some science. Really stupid uh, dart test with iPhone. Uh, six miscellaneous darts, mostly elites, mostly sticky, and the iPhone will be. My 4S that I usually use on certain shots on certain videos that I do not have time to card or put links to all of them in three, two. Uh, this is gonna be a close range shot mainly because the size of my room and my house. Um, two and one. Here we go. That's sticky and. Uh, Obviously proving the point uh, clearly that it's not gonna break glass. Uh, yeah, a sticky dart uh, More importantly LA is definitely proving the point Just immediately on paper for anyone who had a weird dumb uh, debate like that. All right next up. I believe uh, a actual uh, streamer I think elite and Drop fire uh, it dripped on my mouse pad Captain America, by the way, Ghost Ace of a War, really good movie. Sticky Dart has dropped, and I'm replaced with another. <laughs> All right, now um, on Coop's test uh, video, it was the fifth shot I think that toppled his iPhone. So I'm getting really concerned on the next uh, two shots coming up. And that's shot number four, still not phasing the iPhone or where I positioned it at all. Uh, I'm further back in case you haven't noticed or indoor here on the audio of my video. Okay, that was uh, I think a zombie strike dart. All right, last shot. Really hope this doesn't fall. I really love my iPhone or any smart, name your smart, smartphone here at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's six. So overall, that's six shots with a strong arm, uh, mid to close range, and clearly the sticky has pretty much proved the point that yeah, 
nerf darts do not break glass. Uh, so yeah, be back for overalls. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could go pretty much with any bigger, uh, blasters. Uh, please let me in the comments of any previous blasters or anything I have. I'll probably do this with, uh, actual windows or anything. Like, if this just starts becoming a thing in the nerfing community, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, other than that, I have no clue why this is now becoming a thing. There's a lot of weird, strange habits that are starting to grow in the nerf fandom. Like, everybody instantly thinking the Hyperfire. I haven't, uh, as of this recording, I haven't owned and or purchased the Hyperfire yet. I just want to make another video just to know where I am uh, purchase-wise with all these upcoming blasters. Um, also, my hair got better. <laughs> Guess anyone's counting on that. Anyway, longer story short on the Hyperfire. Yes, I am not stupid. I am very much aware that that is already out in stores and probably a lot uh, other stores around the world. Um, I really do, uh, would love to purchase it, but because it's 50 bucks, 50 bucks, uh, and mainly because of the D batteries, it's giving me the Vulcan vibes, if anyone remembers that blaster. Um, I might need to open that out out of my, what was it, my basement or, uh, whatever I'm calling the underside of my bed, uh, or armory, whatever I'm calling it, nerf wise, to pretty much show how old that price is compared to every fly roll blaster nowadays that are like jesus uh 10 maybe 20 dollars less than that over the last five or six years max um so that's a bit of news a bit of testing for what looks to be a really dumb argument and uh to coop if you're at all watching this i pretty much proved your point and hope it helps to whoever it is that made that dumb argument i pretty sure you did your testing wrong or something whatever uh Take care, and I'm Retrocated Retrocated Reviews. Uh, no outro. This is just weird. It's just all weird. And I guess this was nerf testing, I guess. Later. Oh, man, I'm so happy that my iPhone's okay. Oh, and uh, I know I didn't want to do an outro, but here it is. And uh, take care and subscribe, for real. Uh, just what the hell is going on in the nerfing community? Like, seriously, what is even the hell?